So, hey guys, Chauzo here. And yeah, for this video I'm going to be beating Arena Sanjian Wolf without using any Int Captains. And it's not as hard as it sounds, but yeah, I wanted to try and make some cool teams using stuff not very commonly used. Like I do use the Wasco Shot on this team, but he's not on the other teams at least, so that's something. But yeah, this first team is a mono-driven team with Bullet and uh, versus Akainu as captains. Pretty cool combo. They have pretty good synergy, to be honest. You just need to build a uh, uh, quick int strength slash driven and powerhouse team. So you got quite a few options, at least. And yeah, I went with the full driven route, and yeah, this was fun to figure out. Like, the plan with this team is to uh, survive, basically stall out the debuffs you get on the final stage, so basically the damage reduction. And it's pretty easy to stall it out, since we do have the Legend Capone on this team. And yeah, I went here when bullet was at 8 CD, so this means if I stall 4 turns for the attack down, I can move on to four, the next stage and bullet will be ready, and Capone since I will be using them there. But yeah, with Capone you get Big Father, and with Big Father you survive any hit, no matter what. So we're going to take advantage of that. So yeah, this video is very long, but it's mostly because the next team is very long. Like, two teams here are pretty good, the next team is a bit of a meme, but it's pretty funny to make meme teams from time to time. But yeah, moving on to the fourth stage. We're going to be using four specials, actually. We could probably just get away with two, I think I did that in my testing, just Wasco Shot and Bullet. But yeah, then I realized that I don't need to do that. I could use more specials than that and make it even safer. So I did that. Yeah, I used Stoffy Special once since yeah, that has double specials. We can get the Color Affinity later too. I used Bullet just for a full board of matching orbs since Bullet makes Strength Orbs matching for the whole team. And yeah, with the Capone Special as well as the Color Affinity from Doffy, we can easily kill in one turn. So yeah, final stage. So as I said, the plan here is to stall out the damage reduction. And yeah, stalling out the damage reduction has two purposes. First, like, we don't really need a special to remove damage reduction. We actually do anyway, but we're basically bringing this red Blackbeard mainly for the attack boost. But also stalling means that we take a hit. And take a hit means that Sanjian Wolf gets burned. So we can take that to our advantage since Akihino goes through full immunity. So we can get the burn conditional for extra damage. We're also below 10% HP now, which means Ray Blackbird special is also an attack buff. So we can remove all the debuffs from Sanjian Wolf now and get a 2 times attack boost. Akainu special gives full board of quick orbs, an orb boost and a chain lock, and then color affinity from Doffy. So this will be a very easy kill. Yeah, pretty cool team if I may say so. Moving on to the next one. So yeah, for this one I first started playing around with the idea of Kaido. And I was like, who will I pair Kaido with? And I decided to try, can I do it with two Kaido? And yeah, this took a while. This, this team takes a long time. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's go on this journey. Yeah, this is pretty cool because really, ho the raid Cola ho Hode here is really the MVP of this team, I must say. Another weird thing with this team is the ship. This is the V1 Nostra Castello. And if you know how that ship works, 
It doesn't really work with Wii One Kaido since it reduces your team's attack if you have like powerhouse units and, and some other classes. But yeah, the thing is that this team is not built around bursting at all. We will burst a bit final stage just because I missed the kill with like 1 million HP or something. It's very close. But the other than that, we're just going to let Kaido do all the job basically. And yeah, this first four stages is a joke really, like the combination of double Kaido and Hody alone deals with stage 3 and 4. Like we had the Hody support for stage 3 and for stage 4 we have Hody special. And yeah, we mainly used Hody special to remove the spear for Kaido's captain ability. So yeah, we're just going to stall out the damage threshold here. And yeah, you might think it looks weird that I'm not using swapping back or anything, but yeah, you need to remember that after we tank one hit from Sanji and Wolf next stage, he will cut, do a 99% HP cut. So like even if we have high HP, it doesn't matter. So we can't we only need to care about HP after Wolf does that 99% HP cut. But yeah, we're moving on to Wolf now, and this is going to be quite the journey. So yeah, when I made this team I knew I wanted We Won Shirahoshi and Manchuri on it, since well they are boosted by Kaido, so that helps. But yeah, mainly because their special can help remove normal attack only. So we stall 10 turns less thanks to her. And of course the healing she does and her spot player will also be essential for this team. See, so yeah, I'm just stalling until Wolf is about to attack. Now I'm going to swap Baka to get HP needed. And also use special. See, so yeah, with this damage threshold, Sanjian Wolf will, uh, yeah, not be able to kill. He'll do like 8,000 HP or something. That's actually a lot of HP against that Barto special. And yeah, we can heal now, and we can also remove the increased damage taken, as well as the normal attack only, so only 7 turns left of that. So yeah, we're not going to be doing any damage until that normal, at normal attack only is gone. But yeah, this was the real struggle for me in team building, that was how do I sur survive this second hit? And I also needed help for the late game to be able to use Holy Special, I needed something to help remove Special Bind. So Luffy Zoro with Nami support was the only option I could come up with. Nami does a 50% damage reduction and thankfully that's all that is needed. We survive with a good marginal, so that's something we can work with. Because Sanji and Wolf will do a lot less damage now when he debuffs himself. We can still swap Baka. And eventually we can use Shirahoshi and Manchuri again, so that will heal us back to full. See, yeah, as soon we will start doing damage, I had to redo this team a few times just to figure out how to play the end game. And it actually worked out pretty well in the end. I did mess up this team a little bit, but since it worked, I didn't feel like doing the 8 minutes tall one more time. See, as you see, with Baka Swap, you only take like 13k damage, 13, 13k, so not too bad, really. See, so yeah, normal attack only is gone. See, so yeah, the main reason we use this ship, except for the high HP, is that it adds a 3% damage reduction, and it doesn't sound a lot, 
But against 120 million HP, that's several millions HP extra damage. So it just speeds up the team a lot. So it's pretty, it's pretty weird to see a 3% damage reduction do as much damage as Kaido's end of turn damage. <laughs> it's basically like having a 4th Kaido hitting every turn. But yeah, of course, as his HP gets r reduced, it will do less and less damage. But yeah, as you see, I'm not swapping Buck as much. Like, I don't like swapping for no purpose. And like, we will be able to survive until Shiroshi Manshiri uses her special. And at that point, we're fine, basically. See, I've not talked about uh, what happens at the end here, but... When Sanji and Wolf drops below 25%, he will remove the debuff from himself and his timer will be permanently one turn, which means that when Sanji and Wolf goes to below 25%, it's the it's <laughs> urgent because we can't take a hit without Baka special, which basically means we can survive two turns at that point. So we need to secure the kill in two turns. And like less than 25% HP, that's still like 30 million HP. So yeah. It might be 20% actually. Yeah, probably 20%. And yet this is the only mistake I did in the run. I swapped Shirosha Manshiri one turn early, I wasn't thinking. The issue here is that I need to swap Shirosha Manshiri this turn to help remove the special buy. But Man Manshiri doesn't isn't boosted by Kaido and doesn't do any damage. See, I, I was afraid that run was over here, but thankfully I still did enough damage. See, so yeah, we use Hody here, move special bind, we get the HP cut, we use the, both Kaido to get the HP cut back, use Luffy Zoro for some extra damage, as well as the chain lock, and Baka to survive and some extra damage. So we're just piling on the damage here, and I'm going to be bursting here despite barely doing any damage at all really but trust me all this damage matters i did a run before with the exact same team and i missed the kill after the stall with it it was way less than 1 million damage like it was so close i was so upset but yes you see now we do get the kill <laughs> very barely but final hit oh that felt so good sorry for having to watch all that but yeah Okay, final team. I did one more good team. I wanted to do a team with a side unit since this video is called like beating without int captains. I wanted one of every color. I've done strength. I've done quick. I've done dex. So yes, I left. So I decided to Roger, but just Roger is boring. So I did Roger and A since it's a pretty good combo in general. But yeah, the main challenge I did for this team was to not use the same units as all other teams. I hate always using the same units. So yeah, despite Kobe and Helmeppo being better, despite them being free to play, super accessible, I didn't want to use Kobe and Helmeppo again. So instead I'm using the Tama, which is a pretty good unit. She still gives color affinity to strength and uh, int. As well as removing the damage threshold, which we need. We can use the limited rare recruit Kusan to remove some special bind as well. Uh, we're using Brook again, but this time Brook is used for final stage to get give us the chain boost and uh, attack down removing support here. Uh, one thing to note about Shanks and Mihawk is that this is a mono free spirit team since Ace only boosts free spirit and shooter. But uh, Int Mihawk is not Free Spirit, it's just Slasher and Cerebral. So only Shanks and the duo form is boosted by Ace. So it's really not optimal at all, but I made it work anyway. But yeah, burn now before the burst to ensure the easy kill. But yeah, we're going to be using Shanks and Mihawk this next turn to help remove Special Bind. So they'll be in duo form for stage 4 and the extra damage from them is very helpful for that stage. So 
see a garb support, we remove the remaining special binds. Now we can use Shanks and Mihawk. Remove all special bind, Sora support for the chain lock. Now we can use Tama for a full board recovery orbs. Remove damage wrestle, get color affinity. Buggy support for attack boost. And then now we just need to take out Lafitte with the four int units, which we barely do. And Roger and Ace can easily take out the guys in the background. So yeah, final stage. And we're going to burst right away. Since versus Ace resists special rewind, there's no reason to stall. So yeah, we still have the Roger super type left, so we get full board of matching orbs. We swap Shanks first because Miyok doesn't do any damage, so Shanks does some damage at least. We use Brook first since if you use him last, he removes all beneficial effects. Ace for the chain set and ore boost. Roger attack boost. Kusan for color affinity and removing the damage reduction. And then we just burst. This is actually super tight, but I'm happy it works since it's still a pretty silly team and not optimal at all, but just so strong captains. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.